Left hand shooting, uh, or right, right off hand shooting, single handed shooting. Uh, how many of you guys have seen or been trained to do this as you shoot? Anybody? I've seen it. So there's a couple things happening. One, this is a natural hand for your position, your or natural position for your hand. Two, if you're thinking about just purely mechanics of shooting, what's stronger? This, or if I put a bunch of weight behind me, create a solid block behind my arm, right? This makes you solid. A very easy, thoughtful thing. Can I shoot my hand if it's here? Right? I'm not going to shoot my hand if it's here. Some guys teach to take the gun and cant it inboard slightly. There's several factors to that. There's some really good national champion level shooters that will teach this, and there's some that will tell you to do this. If you're shooting at distance, if I take my sight and I go this, like this, up and down is no longer up and down, and left and right is no longer left and right. That becomes a problem. So now what you are used to seeing, go like this, up and down is now like this, left and right is now like this. Shit's different. Windage and elevation, everything's screwed. I personally hand out, arm straight, elbow in. You'll feel the tricep activate, you'll feel your lat muscle and pec activate, and you're locked in good and solid. The one thing about always bringing your off hand, whatever you're not shooting to, to your chest is, what, what, why or what would cause us to have to shoot one hand? Cancer. Uh, an injury. Injury. What else? Sure. I'm doing this or I'm doing come on, get up here. Get up here. When I'm doing this, right? This will get really fought. You okay? Hard now. So can I do this while I'm holding him? Can I do this after I've taken a shot through my shoulder? or humerus, or elbow, or hand? Maybe, maybe not. So, muzzle awareness. If I draw, and I'm having to shoot like this, I, I don't want to be tied up, having to engage like this, and not know where this hand is. This is a safety mechanism. The point you gotta get to, though, is that you know where your parts are in time and space, because you may not be able to do that. So as we start, we're going to come right here. Target is, I'll show you, watch me at the target. You guys are going to draw. Load and make ready. Seat lock, tug, press check, press out. Elbow is going to come down a little bit. You're going to feel everything activate. You are going to grab onto that trigger. Same press. Reset. Same press. We're going to run through a mag like that. And I want you to think about, is this, if I'm shooting righty, now my stance could change, but what if it can't? If I'm shooting like this, or like this, or like this, and this arm gets injured, should I, oh, I should have my weight forward now. I'm probably not going to do that. It would, ah, my arm is now injured. I'm going to continue dealing with whatever I have to deal with. You don't always have time to do this foot movement business. Square up. Load and make ready. Didn't bother me, did it? No. Just scared me. I didn't know what you were going to do. So, draw correctly. Rotate till your gun is oriented towards the target. Take that weak hand. Bring it up to your chest. Tighten it up. Press the gun out in front of you. Now, take your elbows, boys, and rotate it in a little bit. Do you feel how your tricep and lats activate? Find the sight. Find the sight. Slack out. Middle of the paper. Middle of the paper. Press. Okay. Shot at a time. Feel the elbow. Now take your arm. Go like this and just cant the pistol. 
a little bit, cant it out about 20 degrees. So now your elbow can't do that. Try a few shots like that. Holster up. What felt better, what felt worse? Different, good, bad, no difference at all? First one felt a lot more controlled. Yeah. Did it? Same. I kind of like the can a little bit better. Yeah, I you like the can? I feel like I could get uh, a better visual on my sight. Sure. It tilted a little bit. And that, one of the other things about that, the good left and right, one of the other things about that cant is canting it, this is a more natural position. <laughs> Look where my fist goes. <laughs> This, I have to force myself. Now, I would punch like this to be really fast to do so, but look how my body wants to move. So that can't, you're working with your body. Boom, boom, boom. That distance, who gives a shit? We go back out now and try to pop that steel from 50, 60 yards, and you will start noticing a difference in how steady you can get. Everybody's body's different, everybody's hands different. Try that. Try that again with another mag. Load and make ready. If you got to load up, get out and tinka, tinka, tinka. Master grip down there. Master grip. Go for it. Nice tight groove. Remember to be doing ammunition management as you come and go. 